Coming up on Look Today, the Warren County Sheriff's Office has launched a criminal investigation into Siemens building system regarding a geothermal plant in Warren County. I've got the details. Plus, with the federal election in 2016, Warren County election commissioners are concerned that they didn't receive all the money they requested. I'll explain what that means. And Saratoga City Council holds a public hearing on the proposed Saratoga Hospital expansion. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, we interview Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew about new development throughout Warren County in 2016. And CEO of Hudson Headwaters Health Network, Dr. John Ruggie is here. He's gonna talk about the changing face of healthcare. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Warren County Sheriff's Office has opened its second investigation into Siemens building systems. Now this time, the Sheriff's Office will look into a geothermal heating and cooling project that has allegedly failed to deliver results. Queensbury resident Travis Whitehead brought information showing the lack of savings. He did this before the Warren County Board of Supervisors during their monthly meeting. Whitehead was a strong advocate of investigating the Cogen plant now, that was also a Siemens project. However, an investigation into the Cogen led to no criminal charges being filed. Well, Warren County Sheriff Bud York said, we're going to look into it and make a recommendation to the DA's office. Well, changing from news to weather, after the region saw two days of rain, it finally stopped and the sun came out. Well, how long will it stay dry for? Well, for the latest, we're going to head to our Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, Warren County election officials are concerned with the $65,000 that they were shorted in the county budget. The commission requested $750,000, but only received $685,000. The $750,000 request was to address the 2016 elections, which includes a presidential race. Commissioner Mary Beth Casey said that due to the presidential race, she will need more money to staff a longer voter registration period. Now, in a presidential election season, election offices have night and weekend hours. Budget Officer Frank Thomas argued that the amount they received is $17,000 more than the election office has ever spent. He said that the $65,000 increase does not need to come on the backs of taxpayers. Well, supervisors did say they would address the issue next year if it becomes a problem, suggesting they could pull from the reserve fund balance if need be. Well, also in the news, green space and planned use developments are now discussion topics in Saratoga Springs that are as popular as, you got it, parking and horse racing. The latest PUD and green space issue is in regards to the 88,000 square foot building that will house offices for Saratoga Hospital. A public hearing at Tuesday's city council meeting had nearby residents crying foul. Residents say that the project was kept secret and that they knew and received little notification. One resident had this to say about the project. This is just a blatant attempt to see what they can get away with. The building is just a box plopped on the site with parking everywhere. Now, Saratoga Hospital representatives say that the new building will increase efficiency. Doctors would have offices within two minute walk of the hospital. Now, what are your thoughts on the project? You can head to our Facebook and Twitter pages and share your thoughts with us. And just a reminder, these last two stories I told you about we cover the Warren County Board of Supervisor meetings in their entirety and the Saratoga City Council meetings in their entirety. You can check your local listings. In other news, Saratoga Springs will hold its annual tree lighting and welcome Santa Claus for the holiday season this evening. Now, if you're out in Saratoga, Broadway will be closed from Van Dam to Spring Streets. The closure will begin at 5 p.m. The event runs from 6 to 10 p.m. Well, still to come, Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew is back, and he's going to discuss 
new development in 2016 in Warren County. Plus, CEO of Hudson Headwaters Health Network, Dr. John Ruggi is here, and he's going to discuss the changing face of healthcare. Two great interviews. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.